So for a vehicle, you need to have a title prior to selling or registering it. But if you got the car from a relative or if you're a descendant of uh, an older generation that gave you the car, you may not have the correct titling paperwork. This is Dave at CarTitles.com. And if you had a car handed down to you by an older generation, and now the person who had that title is now passed away, how do you get a title in your name? Well, there's a couple ways to go about doing this. If the person had a probate or a will, there may be an executor of that estate that can physically request a duplicate title in the name of the person who last had it, who's now deceased, and then sign it over as the executor to you. If there wasn't a formal estate or formal probate, it may be difficult to do that because the state where the title is issued is only going to reduplicate the title in exactly the same name that it was last titled in. So if that person is not around to sign that title anymore or no one else can sign on their behalf, it's going to be difficult to get that title passed into your name. And opening up a whole probate case just for the title to one vehicle may not be worth it. It could cost two or $3,000 in legal fees just to open up probate. But that's the first place to look. Is there an executor of the state that can sign over that title? Is there any power of attorney that the person has granted for somebody else to sign you the title? If not, it may be necessary to do what's called a level three title recovery. We can handle that for you. But first look at the more simple and convenient ways of you getting a title of a vehicle that was handed down to you from another generation. Check with power of attorneys, check with executor of estates, and see if there's some formal way to pass that car along to you. If you have more questions about vehicle titling or lost titles, you can reach us at our website at cartitles.com.